One of the gifts that Grace got for the holidays is this school bus. And if you follow my account, you know that Grace loves herself a good vehicle, particularly a school bus, and she loves stop signs. So I watched a lot of videos and I did a lot of research um, to find the perfect bus regarding the perfect size, the accessibility of how you could put people in there, um, and just how it worked overall. And I think that I have found the perfect school bus and I'm going to show you why. So this is the Calico Critter school bus. That's how it comes. And there's a few reasons I like this one. There weren't a lot of buses that had a stop sign that came out. And so when you push the shift, it comes out and the doors open. I also like the size. It's not too big. It's probably like a foot long. I also love the open top so you can see characters inside however you want. You don't have to put them through a door or try to squeeze them in. And some buses you can't even put anybody inside. And furthermore, not only can you put calico critters in, which are your, you know, what this bus is made for, but if you have the Sesame Street characters that bend, sorry, that's Charlotte. If you have the Sesame Street characters that bend, um, you can put them in and they sit perfectly. And Grace loves Sesame Street. So now we have a school bus, a perfect school bus that fits the perfect characters, her favorite people. And I'm very excited about this. These are the older Sesame Street characters that are just stand up characters and they can fit in it too, most of them, but they just have to stand up because they don't bend and they're not as stable as the ones that sit. They're okay though, they're not, actually they're not bad at all but I like the new set of the characters that can sit and can also stand. So you can make them sit in the bus like that.